So imagine a police chase carried out almost entirely from above. Officers tracking a suspect without putting the public in danger during a high-speed pursuit. Well, it could become reality with the use of drones like these. Tonight, a Channel 2 anchor Owen Conflenti reveals how more than 40 local police agencies are training on how to use drones to fight crime. This is the strongest storm to hit the Texas coast since Carla in 1961. The forecast was dire. This is going to be one for the book. Houston faced record rainfall and flooding with Harvey bearing down. Officer Larry Bogus with the Memorial Village's Police Department was preparing for catastrophe. I knew I was going to be locked in at the department for several days. And so I brought my drone to work. An avid drone pilot, Officer Bogus, thought the drone might come in handy. We could tell where the water was, uh, if people were stuck, needed help on the roofs. What started out as a just-in-case quickly turned into a revolutionary crime-fighting tool. Who knew how it just blew up from there? Now, instead of just patrolling the streets in his vehicle, Officer Bogus has an eye in the sky. We started getting cases where we'd have somebody fleeing from a vehicle, like a traffic stop. And you, you can immediately get a drone up in 30 to 45 seconds and fly and start looking for them while you're setting up a perimeter. Drones aren't just helping track down criminals on the run. They can help find missing people, too. If it's a lost child, it's anything that we have eyes on that we can put a drone up and find or locate or clear the scene or provide what we call overwatch for our other responders coming in. Ray Schultz is the chief of police for Memorial Village's PD. He says drones provide a cost-effective form of aerial surveillance without the massive expense of using a helicopter. A helicopter somewhere between two and a half and five million dollars depending on how you want to have it uh, equipped. You can buy a drone for about fifteen thousand dollars. We can now have that resource available to us immediately because we own it, we can deploy it, and we can immediately use it to, to help serve our, our residents. Residents like Kelly Cubbage one evening in January she got a call from her alarm company about suspicious activity at her home. We had um, a glass break and two doors had been opened and did we want to send the police and about 10 minutes later we got another call from the alarm company saying we just wanted to let you know that the fire department's been dispatched too. By the time Kelly reached the home flames were shooting from the chimney. She knew the fire she had lit in the fireplace had not fully extinguished. I just imagined this explosion. Then Officer Bogus flew his drone over the fire giving a bird's eye view of the hot spot and giving Kelly the reassurance that her family's home would be okay. It was actually very fascinating and very comforting to know that they had that level of, of technology available. Thanks to the generosity of residents, the department now has its own drones and an SUV equipped with a 43-inch screen, allowing officers to watch the action below in real time. Everybody knows what a cop car looks like. You know, stickers and light bars on it and squeaky brakes. Uh, you know, the drone's up there and you have no clue. And it's been a crime-fighting tool in that aspect. We're catching these guys. That's what technology is all about, is helping officers make better decisions, helping improve the safety of the officer, but also helping improve the safety of the community. Officer Bogus and Chief Schultz tell us drone technology in law enforcement is only getting more advanced. They're even exploring new drone technology, which would allow a drone to be automatically dispatched to the scene when a 911 call is made. Owen Conflenti, KPRC, Channel 2 News.